Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned. Today we're going to be doing our second episode of Discord.js bot coding tutorial series. Um, I'm on my second cup of coffee and my fifth try recording this, let's get it. Um, there are a couple things that have changed, but it's not going to affect really anything you do. I just put the token file in a different, or I put the token value in a different file, so bot config just has prefix in it for now. Um, the only thing that has changed in the code is I required a token.js or JSON file, and I put, I changed it from bot config to token file that token. So that's the only thing that changes the code. I did create this start.bat. Um, it just has node index.js and then pause in the next line. Um, that's just to run the server a little quicker instead of typing it every time. So yeah, let's go ahead and dig right into what we're going to be doing today. Today we're going to be doing bot and guild info, and we're going to be using embeds for that. So an embed is just a nicer looking message. It's going to look like a kind of a panel. Um, a lot of really any bot you're going to see uses them um, in some way or another. So let's go ahead and start making one. Um, we're going to start with, let's do the bot info first. So if cmd equals uh, prefix, side of an object, all right, prefix, bot info, we're going to do this. So let bot embed. Equal new discord dot rich embed. All right, so we're just going to do parentheses at the end of that. Um, we're not going to put any kind of semicolon or comma um, because we have some stuff to add down here. So let's set a description. Um, description can be bot information. And we also want to set a color. So the set color is going to take a hex value instead of quotes. And to do that, we can just go to Google, search hex color picker, whatever. Um, let's get a let's get a green, nice lime green. We can hit enter again, and let's do an add field. Add field. Uh, let's say bot name. Uh, let's just put, let's see, bot.user.username. I think that's the right one. And then on the last field, whenever we're done, we put a semicolon. Now, to get that to send, it's going to be very similar to how we just send normal messages. Message.channel.send. But instead of putting text in here, we put an object. It's easy as that. All right. So let's go ahead and launch that bot and take a look at what it looks like. It's online. That's a good sign. So bot info all right so we got a working embed you see that lime green right there that looks real nice that's our description that's the field let's go ahead and get a little bit more substance to this so say you had an image on your bot i'm actually going to do that real quick i'm gonna all right so as long as you have an image on your bot you will be able to do this next part no worries um if not you can try and go along i don't think it's gonna imp or show anything but that's okay so we're gonna have to do a little bit of coding up here as well. So let the icon, we're just gonna call it bot icon equal mess or bot dot let's see here. If I can remember this one, bot dot user dot display avatar oops, URL. Alright, this should work. So let's Actually, I want to keep the uniform. So set thumbnail. That's right, thumbnail. So B icon. Oops, don't need that there. So let's go ahead and try to run this. No errors. Good. Bot info. 
All right, so it's still not showing a picture for me for some reason. That's okay. You might have to kick it in the re-add it, but it does show that little basic Discord picture there. So it shows in the top right corner. So if you have a bigger box, it would show it in the top right corner at all times. So just anchor the that. So let's go ahead and continue on with some more values. Let's do add field, and we'll call this one created on. We'll just make a have it display the date. So to do that, we're just gonna go ahead and do bot.user dot created at. And I believe that should really cover it for anything, any kind of information you need for the bot. Um, if you have any requests, of course, I'm just doing the basic stuff. Um, feel free to stop by our Discord at any time. Um, that made it sound like it was a place, but it is an awesome place at that. So let's go ahead and restart the bot. Bot info. And there you go. You can see that it is created on Tuesday, January 9th, um, the day before the first episode went live, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, so that's bot info. Let's go ahead and move on to guild info. So guild info can have a little bit more information. So let's go ahead and make a command for that. This one's going to be a lot more. Um, so if cmd equals uh, prefix, let's do that real quick. Prefix um, guild info. We can do server info even. Server info. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and since we know we're going to need the thumbnail, we're just going to make it kind of uniform. We're going to go ahead and get that now. So let s icon equal guild dot oh, actually we're going to need to do message message guild because we did just a guild it wouldn't know what server is so if we're in two different servers it would possibly pick a um, icon from the other server so message dot guild dot display that's our url it already knows um, and then we're going to go ahead and start the embed so let server embed equal new discord dot rich embed. this is all the same as before so i'm not really going to explain it set description server information uh, we're going to use set color and we're going to use the same thing as before should still have it right there yep all right so set thumbnail and this is the same as before s icon here we're gonna start doing some new stuff. So let's say we wanted to. Well, we can do this guild name. Might be better just to use server name. And then let's go ahead and put message guild name. We can add another field. I know I'm kind of flying through this, but this is kind of the same stuff, and we're running low on time. But um, so this one's going to be. We'll do created on again. So created on message dot guild dot created at add field. I know I'm kind of it's a little repetitive. And then let's say you joined and then message dot guild or rather message that member joined at that was the new one that's just going to get the message the member and when he joined that server or he or she sorry i guess i can stop hitting enter every time and then let's do one more add field total members comma we can do message dot guild dot member count and that'll get the member count for us so whoo all right let's go ahead and send that message dot send rather channel dot send if I can type send server embed okay let's go ahead and launch that bot all right, so once you change it, go ahead and just save it. It should take automatically. So let's go ahead, the bot is running. I think we got a server. Info. 
All right. So, server was created on the same time that I joined. What a surprise. There's two total members. It counts the bot as well as me. Um, server name is Ned Test. As you can see, that's... Oh, that's right. Okay. Icon.url. Or URL. It's not um, the same as before. So, let's go ahead and try that one more time. Server info. There we go. So you can see the um, the server's avatar is right there as well. All right. We finally made it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever about any of the code we just went over, um, I know it was pretty simple for those that have been coding in Discord.js for a minute now, um, but we will be stepping into some more advanced stuff next week that I'm really excited about. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.